The reopening of schools for public exam classes brought fear among parents who had concerns over the health safety of their children. According to the teachers, they are constrained in maintaining the preventive measures while the parents cannot afford to provide lunch for their children, which makes it difficult to observe the social distancing. Government promise of giving us face masks, um, hand sanitizer, but for now we have not yet received. We have some people who are very, very much stubborn. Like yesterday, the soap that was provided, they took it away. So those are some of the constraints in fact we are facing. They should stay in their classes while they eat their lunch. But here, this part of the country, Kailan, it is not easy. Because some parents have not the chance to provide lunch for their children. Except to give them a chance to go outside to look out for food. The only option left for the school administrations is to use the school coffer to provide Veronica buckets and other toiletry materials for the pupils. We have not received. So, most of the things that we were to start with when school reopened, as was promised, we do not have them now. What are we to do? So what we've decided to do is to make sure to go back with into our coffer and see what we have, add more Veronica buckets to the ones that we presently have, and then maybe encourage the people to buy the face masks. Responding to the teacher's concerns, the district deputy director of education, Sa Ruben Suluku, said government will soon salvage the situation, adding that the turnout of pupils taking the WASC exam is very low as compared to other examination classes. First day of reopening schools, we had 40 schools where we jointly monitored by the MBSSE, the council. But interestingly, like you asked, uh, the SSS turnout was very appalling. Uh, like the GSS and the NPSC, it was very encouraging. In fighting COVID-19 pandemic in the country during this short period, they will remain open. Some schools don't even have water and toiletry facilities, according to some of the school authorities.